you're watching Big Explainer, the biggest explainer in the world. He was dispatched to the Kingdom of Bhutan by the Japanese government to help modernize the Bhutanese agricultural sector. Nishioka worked in Bhutan as an agriculture expert for 28 years, from 1964 till his death in 1992. Nishioka's work helped improve the cultivation of rice and vegetables in Bhutan's Paro and Zhemgang di Zongkags. He also participated in civic infrastructure development efforts in Zhemgang. In Seoul, then called Kijo, he attended Sakuragoka Primary School. The family moved to Osaka, Japan, after the Japanese defeat in the Second World War and the subsequent decolonization of Korea. In Osaka, Nishioka studied in Yao Junior High School. In 1952, Nishioka entered the Osaka Prefecture University to study agriculture. In 1958, Sasuke Nakao, one of Nishioka's professors at the Osaka Prefecture University, went to Bhutan as the first official visitor from Japan. The Prime Minister of Bhutan at the time, Jigma Paldin Dorji, asked Nakao for an agricultural expert to help Bhutan modernize its agricultural sector. The lack of developed bilateral relations between Japan and Bhutan at this time prevented any plans from materializing. This problem was solved when Bhutan joined the Colombo Plan in 1962 and thus became entitled to receive aid from other member states in the plan, which included Japan. On Nakao's recommendation, Nishioka, now an agricultural expert with the Japanese Overseas Technical Cooperation Agency, went to Bhutan in July 1964. In 1966, Nishioka, along with three apprentices, established an experimental farm in Bondi in Paro Zongkag. In this farm, Nishioka grew rice and vegetables such as peas, radishes, pumpkins and cabbages using seeds he had brought from Japan. The farm was successful, growing in size and profitability, even supplying food to guests at the 1974 coronation of the fourth Druk Galpo of Bhutan. Jigma Singye Wangchuk. Nishioka's contributions helped improve paddy cultivation and the use of greenhouses. He also encouraged farmers to sell their food in